Well, we're here today with uh, Millthorpe Corinthians new manager Chris Humphreys. So, on behalf of the club and everybody else's supporters and its sponsors, we would like to welcome you to Millthorpe Corinthians. Appreciate that. Firstly, what we would like to know is uh, your take on why you took this job. You're a sought after manager, uh, come with a wealth of experience from obviously being a professional footballer. So, what attracted you to Millthorpe Corinthians? Yes, it's, it's an easy one for me really, I've, um, I've, I've spoke to Sean Gardner who's obviously manager last season, um, I played for him a few games, so I was in and around the club um, and I, I, I got to saw first hand how well it's run, um, the, the good people that's around the football club um, and what really attracted to me is, is it's a family club, um, I always have my kids with me, um, they love coming to games and, and, and I really like the way that they were welcomed and, and, and that there's so much on for them to do and stuff so it was, uh, it was and obviously of how well they did yesterday, uh, last season compared to with the players that they had or didn't have at the beginning of the season um, and I thought that the togetherness and everything w was brilliant so it was, a big, um, it was a big attraction to me. Good, good, good. So you've been in uh, charge just over a month now, uh, how's pre-season looking and uh, have you got any any uh, surprises for us in the transfer section? There might be a few surprises coming in. Um, I've tried to build my squad as a, um, as a young, um, hungry team. That's what I'm going for this season. Um, so we are ranging between 16 to, to 19, 22. And then obviously we've got you know, your experienced players of Sean, Tomo, Tino, um, Dan Hallam, those sort of players that are going to come in and, and um, help the young lads and have that bit of experience around the, the dressing room with those with those lads. But we are going to go young this year. Um, it is for a reason, um, and I just believe that that, that 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 young players want to play for the football club, um, not for the money. So we, we're going to go. We're going to go with that sort of that sort of approach. Brilliant. Uh, as you know, this club that's been in the Premier League of the Westlands before, yep. they're looking to establish themselves as a Premier League, Westlands Premier League side. Uh, we've managed to survive last year through the skin of our teeth. What, what is it that you'll expect from, from your squads and your players and the club as well to be able to establish themselves in that level and to continue from your point of view? Your, your ambition, obviously, is to go on and try and win more and, and be successful. So what do you think is best? For, for the club to try and achieve that? Well, I, I always, whenever I take over, my, I only know one mentality and that's to win games and to win things. That's the only reason that, that, that I take jobs personally. Um, so obviously I want to finish as high as we can in the league. Um, again, like I've said, we've gone young, so there are inexperienced, but again, there's experienced players in there with them, so there's, there's no excuses from my side of it. Um, we're going to try and win every cup, we're going to try and win the league, that's the mentality that we have to have, that's the mentality that we've instilled into these young players and that's the hunger that they've shown us and we've been pleasantly surprised through pre-season um, of, of how uh, um, ambitious they are, hungry they are, the desire, their work right, their togetherness already is fantastic so you know why can't we set the, 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 the bar high, I always think set it high and, yeah. and if you achieve it, achieve it and if you don't then we can something to work on um, in the coming years but yeah my ambition and and the way that I am, I want to win everything. Brilliant, brilliant. Uh, that then leads us into just give the give ourselves a little bit of insight into your philosophy and what you think you'll bring to the to the, the type of uh, football that you would want the first team to be playing this season. Well, I, I only know one way, and that's is fitness. I love my teams to be fit, so every team that I've managed, I've always wanted to be the fittest in the league, which I think will 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 definitely run whoever close to that. Um, when I first took over the job, I gave the, the players a four-week fitness program that each and every one of them did. Um, I explained, if you're not fit, you won't play for me, that's as simple as. Um, you can be the most talented player in the world, but if you're not fit enough to play, you won't play. That's just my mentality of where I've come from and my background in football. Um, it's all I've ever known. So they've really took on board that. They've been brilliant. Every one of them has done the program. They've come back flying in pre-season. They're fit. Um, so... That's a big part of my philosophy and, and to be honest, if I'm honest, this is the first club where I've come that I've actually felt I can play the way I want to play because the lads are fit enough to do so. So that's a massive plus, especially when we only train once a week. So I've got the lads, they, they do fitness programmes now, even um, through pre-season and through the season, they'll work on Mondays at home um, following the fitness program, they'll train on Wednesdays and I've now started getting them to train on Fridays as well. So they're doing runs on Fridays 
because I think it's important if they can get used to running on a Friday, working hard on a Friday, ready for a Saturday, um, we'll go far with that. So some teams train twice a week, so we've got to try and match that with the work we do outside of the football club. Um, so that's my that's my main part of the philosophy, um, and then I don't really want to give too, too much away too much as we go on to the next season. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so coming in, uh, obviously tonight we're playing uh, Markham's under 18s, which will be a good test for us all. Uh, but we're coming off the back of a, what, a, a very impressive performance against Holker on Saturday. Must have been pleasing for yourselves to see the fruits of your work from the training being applied onto the pitch because it was quite an impressive, uh, impressive game from every single person on that pitch. So it must have been pleasing for you to see your work kicking in now. Yeah, a, th a thousand percent. And, and what I've said to them and I've explained to the lads is it's no disrespect to them, but we're not um, a Barcelona or a Man City where we can just turn up and, and we're going to win games. We are a team, like I've said, a young, hungry team that is going to have to work hard to get a result. And um, we're trying to instill that into them. Um, they can't switch off. They can't afford to not do it for 10, 5 minutes, they've got to do it for 90 minutes and they set out on Saturday to do that and um, I thought that again, the main bulk of the reason why we get the result is because we ran harder than them, we worked harder than them um, and, and we were aggressive in that sort of way. So we've got to take that into every game, I made sure I told them at the end of the game, it's consistency now, don't think that oh, we beat Hulk now that we can just switch off, I'll never let them switch off, we're on to the next one. This is going to be a tough game today. They're an academy. They're full trained full time. I know drums. I know Wayne. They'll have them. You know, they'll have them going for it. They'll have them ready. Um, so we've got to match them. And this is probably a game where it's a good test for us. There's, they're going to be as fit as us. So now, what have you got? What else have you got? Can you then get the ball down and play a little bit? Can you find a way to win? And that's something that's important with young lads. Um, is, is finding that way to win. We've gone very young. We've gone from 16 to 19. I wanted. I did that on purpose. So we could match them. There's no point our older lads is not going to get anything from it. And also I wanted to give these lads an opportunity to go and impress. Go and impress against lads that are their age and at an academy. Go and go and show them what you can do. So I'm really looking forward to this game for, for their sake. Brilliant. Uh, so two weeks away now, I believe, until the start yeah. of the season. Yeah. Uh, first game away is Tempest, I believe. Yeah. Uh, not sorry, Tempest turn yeah, away. Turn, yeah. turn away, which will be a tough game. Uh, your expectation, August, you can never win the league in August, but you could certainly lose the league in August, so it's important that we, we hit that right. Yeah, definitely, you can, and, and you, you, you say that, but if you go and get a positive start and go and get quite a few wins in that August, it can set you up nicely um, for the beginning of the league, and like you say, if you go and lose a few games, it can you're in a dogfight already. So yeah, we've looked at August, and that's why we've gone with a you know a big, biggish squad, so um, I'm a manager that likes to rotate and freshen up, and we showed that, I think we were missing four, five, six of our best players against Hulker, all on holiday or working or away. Um, lads have stepped in and done really well. So that's, that was another please, pleasing thing. So I think that when we merge it all together in that August, we're going to need every single man to, to his dog um, so that we can keep things fresh and then we can go into games and, and, and give it our all. Because like I say, if you come out at the end of August with, with a healthy amount of points, then you can really look at the season and go, you know what? Let's go and kick on and see where we can go. Brilliant. Well, you've certainly brought a, a bit of a buzz to Milnthorpe of, of your appointment and uh, what we're about to join the journey with you. So we wish you good luck for the start of the season and uh, we'll, we'll catch up with you soon. No, thank Thanks you very much. So, thank you. Okay. Cheers.